On the 13th of March 2013, in a remote part of the Chilean Andes, the official inauguration of ALMA, the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array, took place. This ceremony marked the completion of all the major systems of the telescope and its formal transition from a construction project to a fully-fledged observatory. The President of Chile, Sebastián Piñera, and many other high-ranking officials honoured the event with their presence. This is the ESOcast. Cutting-edge science and life behind the scenes at ESO, the European Southern Observatory. ALMA is the world's most powerful tool for observing the cool universe. ALMA is not a traditional telescope, but an array of 66 antennas spread out over the Chachnantor Plateau with separations of up to 16 kilometers. The antennas are linked and their signals combined so that ALMA can work as one single giant telescope. This allows astronomers to make observations with unprecedented sensitivity and resolution. More than 500 people gathered on the 13th of March in the Chilean Atacama Desert to celebrate the success of the ALMA project. The guest of honor was the president of Chile, Sebastián Piñera, who was accompanied by high-ranking politicians and officials. Amongst them were representatives of ALMA's international partners from Europe, North America and East Asia, as well as representatives from Chile, ALMA executives, personnel and members of neighbouring communities. The event was covered extensively by press and media from around the world. The inauguration ceremony had several speakers. The ALMA director, Thijs de Grau. ALMA chief scientist, Ryohe Kawabe. Subra Suraish, director of USA's National Science Foundation. Tero Fukui, senior vice minister of Japan's Ministry of Education, Culture, Sports, Science and Technology. ESO Director General, Tim Desieu. Finally, the President of Chile, Sebastián Piñera, addressed the audience. The highlight of the inauguration ceremony was when the President of Chile gave the ALMA scientists and operators the command to initiate science observations. Adelante, Antonio. Apuntar. Alma al Centro Galáctico. Many other activities were also part of the celebrations. The visitors to the Alma Observatory explored the facilities high on the Chacnantor Plateau at an altitude of 5,000 meters above sea level and experienced for themselves the harsh conditions at the array operations site amidst the volcanic peaks surrounding the antennas. They learned more about the workings of ALMA at the operations site facility where the telescope is operated and the ALMA laboratories are located. So this part of the assembly is what first picks up the photon on the antenna? Yeah. The assembly of ALMA's 66 antennas was recently completed, with the last batch of eight currently being tested before entering into service. A partial array of antennas is already available to astronomers worldwide and is generating impressive scientific results. The history of ALMA science 
began with the release of a picture of the colliding antennae galaxies. Visible light can only see the stars that make up these galaxies, but ALMA revealed the clouds of cold gas from which new stars are born. The inauguration of the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array marked the beginning of a long journey. A journey that has aroused great expectations. A journey toward breathtaking discoveries. A journey into the unexpected. A journey to our cosmic origins.